Hello there, this is Peter Beckham from Thai Village Marketing. As you can see behind me, there's some giant buffalo. These, well, pretend buffalo. This is part of a museum not far from our little Thai village. And it's appropriate because today I want to talk to you about how you can become a giant in your business, a giant in your industry, a giant in your network, just like these buffalo. Okay, so let's check it out. Hello there, this is Peter Beckham from Thai Village Marketing. So, how can you become a giant in your market, your target market, your niche? Well, easy. Just become the person who supplies the best shovels. Okay? And you probably think I've gone crazy. Well, it's an analogy. Let me explain to you. In the gold rush days of California, there was a guy by the name of Sam Bannon. Sam Bannon. He actually became California's first millionaire. And no, he didn't mine for gold. What this guy did was, he knew that most of the people who'd come out to California had gold fever. So he went around and bought up all the shovels he could possibly find. Okay, And then, once he had control over that, he then spread the rumours around that there was gold in the rivers. And so there was a huge rush. And the rush first was to try and find shovels. And the only one who had the majority of the shovels was Sam and his shop. And that's where he became a millionaire. And that simple parable is a very interesting message for online marketers today. You see, there are three things that Sam knew. The first, he understood his market. He knew that the miners with their gold fever, needed shovels. That was his target market. So my question, do you know your target market? Do you know what their real needs are so they can make a stampede for you like they did for Sam? Secondly, Sam created a plan. He just didn't have an idea. He actually sat down and planned it out. So think of it. He found the need. He positioned himself Absolutely perfectly, didn't he? I mean, after all, he controlled all the shovels. Then he agitated the need. He spread the rumour about the gold potential in the rivers. And of course, everyone had gold fever and it just take a little match like that to strike off a stampede. And he had the solution. He had the shovels. So there was a very interesting marketing plan for Sam, wasn't it? Now, I challenge you, do you have your marketing plan in place? Is there a step-by-step, action-defined way of you making sure you satisfy your target market needs? And the third part of Sam's overall business strategy was that he sold the shovels. He focused on the shovels, not on the gold. He focused on providing people a solution to getting what they wanted. What they wanted was to get gold. How did they get it? They needed a shovel. And that's a message for you too. You can provide solutions to people's needs. Many people, many, thousands, millions of people are all trying to make money online from home. And they need solutions. And you can provide them. This is your information marketing shovel, so to speak. You can show them how to find leads. You can show them how to get traffic. You can show them how to convert sales. That information marketing is your shovel, is your way of becoming a giant in your niche. Another thing is, remember you can package up your information as well. You can just sell it as a straight text if you wanted to. So put all your ideas together and you can either give it away in a way of getting people to join your list or you can sell it as like a little ebook the solutions to traffic or leads or sales conversion problems, whatever it may be. Or, and be rem but remember, people pay different amounts of money for the same information presented in different ways. So if you just did it in a text ebook e format, you might be able to get $27 for that information. If you extracted the information off that into an audio format, perhaps you could get $97 for that. Or why not go to the next step? Use the text, use the audio, and create a series of videos. 
and perhaps sell it for $297 or whatever. It's just an example. But just the message I'm giving to you is you're not just an information business, okay? Not just selling shovels of information, but it's the way you package your information that can make you a lot of money as well. So bear that in mind. People pay more for audio than they do for text, and they pay even more for video than they do for audio. This information marketing you're doing is all in a how-to business. And there, I mean, there are millions of examples of this. Think about it in um, the diet industry, how to lose weight. Or in the gardening industry, how to grow beautiful, gross, fussy tomatoes. Or in the sporting industry, like golf, how to add 50 metres, 50 yards to your drive. I mean, these are all examples of how-tos, and they're all provided solutions via information marketing. That's the business you're in. Never forget that. The final point I want to make to you is you should make sure that the content you are providing, whether it's in text format, audio format, video, or all three, whatever it may be, make sure that that text, that content, that solution to people's problems, the shovels that you're creating, make sure that they are appropriate. Make sure they are, they are answering the real questions that people are demanding answers for. Okay? Now, how to find that out? Hang around in some, in some um, forums or maybe hangout areas. Listen to what's being spoken about. Look in Facebook groups, for example, or Google communities. See what are the most commonly asked questions. Okay. Perhaps run your own simple survey. Use a free tool like a SurveyMonkey or whatever and ask people the same questions then your job is pretty simple. You simply sit down and put together the best answers you possibly can to the most commonly asked questions. Or even better, ask a few experts their thoughts on the same questions and then with their permission, promote them to your list and at the same time use their answers, okay, with their permission to provide the solutions to the questions that people are asking, whether it be in an ebook format or an audio format or a video or whatever. So it's fairly easy to come up with A, the most commonly asked questions, the hot questions, the hot trending questions, just go checking for those, and then find the answers to it. And you've got the monkey by the tail. You can then create your own empire. You can then become a giant in your niche. Okay? So I wish you well. That's all for this time. See you again soon. Okay, bye-bye.